All right, we're gonna be changing out the cooling fans on a 2004 Honda Civic. And these are it right here. We checked the fuses already and um, the fuses are good. Uh, if you wanna know where your fuse is at, it's right here. Um, so condenser fan is this one right here. And we checked it already and that was good. So now we're gonna have to uh, replace these fans. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is uh, disconnect the sensor. And you just push on this clip right here and it, and it comes off like this. Um, so now, all you have is uh, two bolts that we have to take off. And then um, it's just a matter of how we're gonna pull it out. Um, I think we might have to um, we might have to remove these this AC line. I'm not sure. We'll try not to. I know we're gonna have to definitely remove this bolt right here. Let me show you which one is. So we're definitely gonna take this off. Alright, so you need a size 10 to remove this bolt right there. And we're gonna use the electric ratchet. Alright. Side. Make sure you don't lose it. And then the other one is right there. Right there. Uh, it's a little tough to get to with. Let me see. I'm gonna pull this like this. We're gonna go ahead and remove this AC line. Just so we could uh, have space right here because we can't get to it. Okay, now we can move this around a little bit. There we go. And I should be able to get to it now. All right, so we took the bolts off. Um, now it's just a matter of getting it out. So, uh, let me see. You can't move AC line too much. Um, We're going to take this plastic off. Um, usually you get a screwdriver. And then if they break, uh, don't worry. They got some like, auto zone. And you can just replace these. But there's four. One, two, three, four. These other ones were missing already. So what I'm thinking is um, we're going to take these two off. Alright, so it looks like the radiator is leaking. Oh, yeah, the radiator is leaking too. But uh, we're just supposed to be replacing the fans. So, we're going to have to replace the radiator too. Alright, so we're going to take uh, these two off. back in place just so you remember which bolts go where and 
Okay. And... All right, so we're gonna remove this bolt right here. purpose of this is to uh, so we can push this back it's the same thing on the other side same thing on the other side So we should be able to push the condenser. All right, so we're gonna uh, have to take off the radiator. Uh, we have to replace it anyways, but there's two ways you could do this job is, you know, take off the radiator and then pull them off the other side. Or you could take off this AC line, which is down there, but then you have to like vacuum it and take, you know, the Freon off and, um, I guess, you know, just whichever you want to pick, the lesser of two evils. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and take this off. Maybe, yeah, it just, it would have been, so I think you have to take off to switch these fans out. All right, so we're going to have to disconnect these two hoses right here. One of them is oil. Well, actually, it's four. No, one, two, three. Yeah, it's one, two, three. All right. And then um, one of them is the oil, and then the other one's transmission. Can you see it? So you get two, uh, you get two pliers like this, and you just push this back. Like that. We have to do that to all of them. Take this one off. This one's a little trickier because uh, the other hard, the other side's kind of hard to get to. So what I'm gonna do is uh, I hate these clamps, man. They're so hard. And, uh, but this is what we got to work with. And um, there's gonna be cooling coming out of here and oil, so make sure you have something to. Uh... All right, so like I said, make sure you have like a bucket or something. Um, we go ahead and take these holes off. Sometimes these guys they get real hard too because they're them stuck in. They've been stuck in there forever, so you gotta use something to kind of pull it back. All right, now we're gonna do the same thing with the other two hoses. Um, one's right there, and I'm just pulling it back, same thing. Okay, and that's like transmission oil, or oil, one of them. Same thing with this one. Uh. There we go. Uh. Oh, this one's transmission oil. Okay, so now we disconnected the three hoses. 
And then, actually, we were supposed to do this first. Uh, this is how you drain the coolant. Oh, let me see, it's already drained. Remember, you push this clip right here, and then it comes out. So now we have to take this bolt off and all right we're gonna go ahead and take this um other hose off you want to make sure you push it from both sides Uh, and be careful because this is plastic. So if your radio is not leaking, you know, uh, you're good. But if you're gonna replace it, I guess you don't have to be real careful. All right. And then I'm gonna take this one off too. Okay. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and uh, take this bolt off. It's a size 10. And you should be able to remove this. You don't have to take it off, just leave it there. Uh, now we're gonna take these two bolts off from this side all right and these are size 10 also i'm using a mini mini uh, wrench So once we take these two off, we should be able to pull off the radiator. And then once we pull off the radiator, a uh, fence will be clear to, to come out. So. So it's just three, uh, three bolts, size 10. You want to make sure you keep these together. We're just gonna take it to the side like this, that's it. So, just so we can pull up the radiator. You have to make sure nothing's hitting for the bottom. Uh, it's my only problem. I'm gonna do I'm gonna go from the bottom and clear it all right so I don't know if you guys can see but I have to make sure this is cleared all right so now I'm trying to okay there we go it's clear so it was just the hose that was stuck that was still stuck on it but uh just make sure the hoses are disconnected it should come up like this. And as 
you can see this one's uh wore out definitely need a new one okay so now we're gonna pull our fans off and pull one pull them out the same pull just one out see for example this one's gonna uh, I'm gonna check the other one out you gotta make sure you're putting in the goes in there all right, so you want to make sure you have the right fan. So, for example, uh, you know, as you can see, you know, we can tell those those two are match. This is the one that goes on the right hand side. But the one we pulled off right now is this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this one back right here. And. Make sure your your bottle, your your, uh, your overflow coolant stays up. So, okay, so it's gonna go like this. You gotta take these little clips. You just push them in from the other side, and you should be able to pull it out. If not, get you uh, um, get you some pliers, and you push it in. Push it in. There you go. And then, So this other sensor, I'm gonna push it in. Uh. All right, so this sensor right here, you push on this and you pull it out. Uh, It's just like a, it just clips on it. So, you know, you have to remove the whole thing. And there's another one over here. You can, uh, Let me just put this out. Yeah, there we go. You just push this out. Yeah, sometimes this work is hard. It's hard to figure out. Once you know how to do it, man, it's, it's pretty easy. And every card, you know, is different. Assembled differently. So, for this one, I know this goes in there. Like this. Shit. So. Okay. There we go. Okay. So now our fan goes back in there, but. We're gonna replace the fan, the radiator, I mean. All right, so this is a new radiator. So you just wanna check, you know, everything. Go ahead and take these off. Uh, 
these come off, these black tips come off. And then make sure, uh, see like this doesn't have it. So make sure you take these off too. Uh, I'm gonna get a screwdriver and just take those off. But go ahead and switch that out. And these players I have, they're real useful, man. You can pretty much use it for a lot of stuff. So, uh, I guess, you know, you could buy some new ones too. Um, I guess this is what goes, this is what holds the radio at the bottom. Uh, I'm a little congested, man. Uh, tested negative for, for Corona, so there's that. And then let's go at the bottom. Something over here at the bottom. Okay, they're ready to go now. I'm going to go ahead and put the radiator in. All right, so you want to be careful when you put this in. Uh, make sure you have enough room for clearance. When you're dropping this down, make sure. Yes, just be careful. Make sure you put the fans above the hoses. The hose connections. So. Let's go to the bottom now and try to line it up. All right, so we just wanna make sure this is the right spot. <coughs> oh. uh. All right, so yeah, you kind of have to wiggle it from the top and the bottom, man. So. Right, and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, connect this fan right here so it'll stay in place. Mm. It's already cleared from the bottom. Actually, let me just double check. So. On the radiator, there's like two clips. You have to make sure they're connected. All right, so we're at the bottom. I just want to show you, this goes in here. It's kind of hard to... Uh... There we go. We finally got it. Okay. So once we know that's this, so this is the left-hand side. All right, so once you make sure it's lined up at the bottom, you can go ahead and, I'm going to put the screws in. It's real hard to get the, um, the radiator in there with these loose. So, um, so if I put these on, um, it should be, uh, easier to, uh, maneuver it like it's supposed to. So now we're going to do the one on this side. And it's going to be the same thing. Um, 
go to the bottom make sure the clips are in all right so you have to be patient when you're when the clips down there are uh like i said just you know you have to maneuver it right uh All right, so the fans are in the radiator now. So now, uh, make sure this is to the side. Okay, see, it's uh, it's a lot easier to maneuver this. So now we're gonna go to the bottom. All right, so uh, you want to go ahead and connect the hoses. So they could be uh, ready to go in. Don't don't put the clip on uh, the clip yet. Just uh, just get it in there. And don't forget, make sure you take the black uh, tip off the new radiator. <clears throat> okay. Uh, I'm missing a hose. Where is it? Oh, here we go. All right. Uh. Okay. So now... Okay, so looks like we got everything in place now. <coughs> I'm going to go ahead and connect my hoses, push them all the way in. Okay, now I'm going to get my clips. And you have to make sure these are on the metal part of the hose. Otherwise, you'll get a leak. So, we know that one's good now. These things can be a pain in the ass. So, make sure these you have one of these. It'll be a lot easier. Or just try to um, I just try to get these in position where it'd be easiest for you to put them in. Uh. So you know that clamps back on. Oh, this clip is back on and then um once we uh make sure this is close all the way okay so looks like everything's in place now we're done down here now we're just gonna finish everything from the top also um we're gonna double whenever we get the, the car running you always come back and check these hoses to make sure you don't have no leaks. If you have a leak, that means you have to, you know, maybe it's not on there all the way. So push it down more and then, you know, redo it again. But uh, we're done. All right, so we only have two hoses um, up here. So. Let me go ahead and connect this one. Um, I always like to put my hoses because uh, 
I don't want to forget nothing. It's a lot of stuff to remember. But this way you always double check your work. All right. And then, of course, you got your uh, overflow. Make sure you connect this one too. Like that. And then get your old cap, of course. Um, man, we're pretty much when we're connecting the sensors. You see, they're pretty much there. You just clap these together. It's kind of hard to do on one hand. But there we go. And this one goes over here. Uh, connect this first. Connect this first, make sure it's a clip all the way. And then this goes right there. So everything from our fan over here is um, <clears throat> ready to go. I'm sure you guys remember how this one was, right? You put this, this cap like this. Come on, don't drop it. This is a bolt that goes right there. So. Let me see if I can do it by hand first. So that's gonna stay on there tight. Same thing on this side. this doesn't move all right guys and all we're doing now is just putting everything together man uh if you remember how everything was then you, you don't probably have to watch the rest of this video you just put it back how you remember it was You always want to 
make sure this is positioned right. <laughs> okay, don't get the overflow. That right there. I'm gonna try to see if I can just get it there. I think I have it. Okay. And like I said, just make sure all the hoses are connected. So. Um. We're pretty much done. We just gotta put that cover back on. And you know, they go in here, you just have four clips. But uh, that's how you do a radiator. And then the next step is uh, we have to burp it. Um, it's a long process, but I'll show you guys. You know, once you see the first two, three minutes, then you'll get the hang of it. You gotta keep doing it until all the air bubbles are out. So let's get to that next. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is uh, fill up the... radiator and this is already um, mixed don't have to add no water Be careful not to spill too much because we, we always want to look for leaks. You want to make sure everything's uh, running right. I mean, make sure you know you don't have no leaks. So just be patient, be slowly till you ha till you fill it up. So, I'm going to start a car, a car now. All right, so the car's on. Um, let's I guess fill it up again. And you can see the air bubbles. See, you can see that. That means if your car's burping, it's getting all the air out of the system. So you have to wait. You have to, uh, so there's no more air in the system. Then you could, uh, that's when you know you're done. Until then, you just gotta keep filling it up. So like I said, just keep doing that till you see that there's no more uh, air bubbles coming out. 
and that means when you're done. Um, it usually takes about 15 to 20 minutes. So, um, that's pretty much it, man. Like I said, once you fill up your cooling and you're done with this, um, that's pretty much it. So, uh, thanks for watching. So, please support us by liking and subscribing.